Hi loves, welcome to Becca's Eco Christmas. In this video I'm going to be chatting to you all about little hints and tips that will hopefully sort of calm you down and reassure you about Christmas this year. Now this year has been a crazy time and I don't think anyone guessed that we would be where we are now. And I think a lot of people, myself included, are feeling a little bit apprehensive towards Christmas because they might not have as much money, uh, they might not be able to see people. Um, so, you know, it's a really important video for me, I, I, I feel. And hopefully it'll be a really good video for you to watch and you'll walk away feeling really ready to take on Christmas. So I'm going to split this video up into like three sections and the first section is going to be wrapping and cards. Now this might sound really daft but when you uh, open your presents on Christmas day, how much wrapping goes into the bin? Because usually out in our house we have about maybe two to three bin bags full of wrapping paper. Now if that wrapping paper has got like a plastic film on it or glitter or anything like that it's actually not biodegradable and it's not recyclable so my tip to you is buy recyclable paper not only are you helping the planet and the environment but it looks as good as the other paper did so i'm going to show you a couple of examples that i've got so i've got this one lovely just that simple really simple I actually bought this last year in Primark in the sale and it was 20p and it was about 8 metres of wrapping paper and it's completely recyclable so there you go 20p well spent. Secondly is uh, just some brown craft paper it might look really boring but you can actually dress it up really nicely and really Christmassy and you can literally get them pretty much anywhere you can get them from the supermarket i got mine from wilco and it cost me like a pound and you get so much so honestly there you go two examples and it's cost me less than one pound fifty to wrap however many presents so i'm going to show you some examples of how you can decorate your gifts first of all you've got these little gift tags now they're just brown card and they come with twine and um, now the twine is obviously to sort of tie around the gift tag and then you can stick it onto your gift twine is completely biodegradable so i would definitely recommend getting some and um, i have actually i bought some of these how cute are they how, how cute and that was a pound it was a pound from the works just incredible so I'm pretty much sorted now. I've got my uh, twine to wrap around my presents. I've got my gift tags, completely recyclable. And I've got my wrapping paper. So win-win, we're ready to go and we're ready to recycle. Oh, look at the shimmer. Next up is cards. Now, I don't know about you, but I really like um, really heartfelt cards. I, I always have. I think it's something that I probably got from my gran because she loved them as well. But the situation with cards is very similar to that of uh, wrapping paper. So if it's got glitter on it, if it's got any sort of you know laminated plastic or anything like that, basically it's not recyclable. Often I find that homemade cards are. And so this year I am going to be making my very own Christmas cards. So anyone that's uh, expecting a Christmas card from me, expect it to look like a five-year-old's Christmas card to you. Um, but it's, do you know what I mean? It's a lot of fun and that's what I'm excited about. So I bought these. They're just blank cards from the works. I know it says £3.50 on them, but they were actually three quid. So I've got 30 cards. Uh, with envelopes and it means that if I don't use all of them for Christmas I've then got cards to use for whatever I need them for next year, which is great Also cuts down on like Waste and I can recycle them. So I'm really happy. I Don't know why I leaned in. So yeah, those are my tips on wrapping and cards you will reduce the amount of plastic you are wasting massively which is such such an amazing achievement 
Um, so even if you can just convert to recyclable wrapping paper, you have already made a really positive step. Next up is arguably one of my favourite bits of this entire video, uh, which is my uh, advice to you of shopping small this Christmas. What I mean is uh, shopping with small independent businesses to boost your economy. Now, as you will have seen if you've been watching the news or, you know, keeping up with it, that kind of thing, um, our economy is struggling and a way in which that we can boost our economy is by shopping local and shopping small. So if you shop small and look, really look at what you're buying, you'll often find that you're buying things that are much more environmentally friendly. They've been made individually with love and care and you're helping a small business grow into something bigger and greater, which is even better. So that is why I'm recommending to you to shop small. Now you might be thinking, I hear you, I like this idea, but I don't know any small businesses. Now don't fret, okay? Because I've thought about it. I've made a list of lots and lots of small businesses and I've put it into a blog post, which is in the description of this video. So that's a really good place to start. And what I often find as well is, um, when you like or follow that particular business other businesses will be suggested to you by that social media platform so you're constantly expanding your knowledge of small businesses last but no means least is to plan ahead <laughs> that's it really budget know how much money you have to spend and stick to that because i mean I don't know about you guys but I'm not currently working and so the money that I have really does go a long way because I make it do that and that's how I'm approaching Christmas as well I am making a budget and I'm sticking to it and I will make that money go a long way so that's the first thing and I think secondly have a look what you have in the house you know if, if you've got some wrapping paper already if you've got some uh, gift bags from last year reuse them there's absolutely nothing wrong with that i do that all the time and it's great lastly is often we might go out and we'll shop for sales for example and we'll find things and buy them and go oh that'll make a great present for such a body and then we'll put it away somewhere safe and then we'll forget where we put it Am I right or am I right? Um, but we do, I do it all the time. But the best thing that we can do is have a look around the house and sort of make like a Christmas cupboard and, and just keep everything there. Do you know what I mean? Because then that way you can see what you already have and you're not spending more money than you need to. Um, I think that's really, really important. But yeah, that is it. <laughs> That is my Christmas video in my sparkly Christmas jumper and I hope you've enjoyed it and I hope it's given you a little bit of reassurance towards Christmas this year. Think smart, buy smart and just plan ahead, you know, spend within your means. Think smart in terms of the environment and reducing the amount of waste we're getting rid of and just shop local. Don't forget to like and subscribe this video. Mwah. Bye.